Why Japan didn't kill the railgun? Imagine a cannon that doesn't need gunpowder. Japan's railgun uses raw electricity and the Lorentz force to sling a small metal round to hypersonic speed think Mach 6 and up. That's so fast the projectile doesn't need a warhead. Speed is the punch, while the U.S. Navy shelved its railgun in 2021. Japan kept going. In October 2023, Japan test-fired a prototype railgun from a ship at Sea World first then mounted a turreted version on the test ship. Jay's Asuka for further trials. Why bother? Two big reasons cost and speed. A railgun round can be far cheaper than a missile, and the extreme velocity could help swap down fast. Threats including future hypersonic ones, but it's not sci-fi magic. Engineers still wrestle with power supply, barrel wear, and rate of fire. Japan's plan is to turn the prototype into a full gun system, and explore integration on its next-gen destroyers in the early 2030s. So no, Japan didn't kill the railgun. It's carefully shocking metal down the barrel and possibly shocking the world if it reaches service in the 2030s. Stay tuned the future of naval artillery might hunt.